So in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at something from Harry Potter. So I know a lot of you guys are fans of Harry Potter and are probably very excited. But good news for you guys because today is the day when um, I'm actually kicking off a new series. And for this series, I'm going to be making full-on Harry Potter mocks. So anyway, before we talk about this specific build that I have in front of me, let's get that intro. Hey, how's it going guys? It's me, Ty. I hope you enjoyed that spicy little intro there. But today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a recreation of Platform 9 and 3 fourths from Harry Potter. This isn't from a specific movie. I believe that this, I guess you could say, this train station is shown in every single movie in the franchise. So I had the Hogwarts Express set. I did get my hands on this a while back. I think it was a few months ago actually. So I mean, I guess not too long ago. It's an amazing set. So I decided recently to make something to go with it. Now the train did come with a platform in the set, but that did not really look nice. I didn't like the look of it. So I scrapped it for pieces and instead designed my own platform nine and three fourths which I think looks a lot better than the one in the set. So diving right into this, we have a lot of things to see. To give this build an industrial look, I included some piping. In addition to that, I want to give this overall the Harry Potter vibe that it deserves. So to accomplish that, I made sure to splash in some of that old Renaissance, medieval, whatever it's called, kind of architecture. I used two different arch designs, not sure which one's my favorite. I used the platform nine and three quarters sign from the actual set and some other things we'll notice are the flags on the banners and also some lamps we have a custom lamp post design we even have some little hidden easter eggs like these harry potter newspapers like a standard train station we have this bridge connecting the two platforms that is a very simple one there and if i take the train out you can see I actually designed a custom rail. Now I don't have the default rails that you can usually get, but I honestly thought making my own was worth it. And I learned something a little new, and that is simply four studs wide is actually the length it takes to wedge in between train wheels, if that makes sense. But basically this design here makes an ideal train track. And last but not least, I save this for last because it's definitely my favorite feature of this build, and that is all the minifigs. So we see a variety of characters. We have ones from the custom minifig series back in 2018, and we even have some of the older ones from the previous Harry Potter franchise, which I believe was around 2010, 2012 somewhere around that range. In particular, we have the Weasley twins, which are definitely, definitely my favorite characters. And also, we have some of the bad guys that show up later in the movies, like Draco Malfoy, his father, that one bad guy that literally nobody cares about, and also Professor Snape. Mr. Potter, what have you been doing lately? Taking that Polyjuice potion, which I clearly told you not to take. How, how did I sound? So there you go guys, that was the video. I really, I hope you enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it. And also I like the concept of making mocks and putting sets in it, if that makes sense. The platform was the central focus of this build, not the actual locomotive since I don't have the skills to make locomotives. So because of that, I took having a Harry Potter Hogwarts Express set to my advantage and included it in this build and together, boom, we have an awesome combination. So thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next vid and keep on building.